ripe red ghost peppers on my plant right now. I am going to go see if we can find the ghost pepper sandwich and compare. Mm. Ghost pepper ranch sandwich meal. You want sandwich or the now, just watch me as I drive home. Have you ever noticed how the cool YouTubers always have uh, the camera angle change whenever they are like saying something? I'm gonna start doing that all the time. There's dog food. <laughs> Wendy's ghost chicken ghost. Wendy's. Look at that. You see that? We got a real ghost pepper on top of the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Compare and contrast, I think, if I had to guess, I don't think there's gonna be any ghost pepper flavor in the chicken sandwich at all, but we will see. All right, going back down. Yes, I can do this. I can do this. Look at that, that's a thing. Is that a thing people do? We're going to cut it. This is a, you see that? You see? This is what the inside of this sandwich looks like. Let's also now cut open a ghost pepper. Ooh, that smells awesome. I compulsively save seeds. So let's do this. Dude, that's awesome. This is weird. Let's put it on the third. Is that a good thumbnail? I never know what people want. Okay. Smells like a berry with a little bit of that uh, tropical smell, but a sense of like summer lawn. Berry, strong, strong berry. It's not the berry peel, and it's not like an overly ripe berry. It's like a really fresh. <sighs> Maybe a little bit of lemon. This smells like Wendy's chicken that I can't mistake. Tomato, lettuce, a really obnoxious ranch. Ooh, the light. Really obnoxious ranch, okay. Here we are, we're gonna try this. I haven't prepped at all for super hot, so this will be fun. It appears as though there are crispies on there. That was not a good first bite, in my opinion. Had like an orange flavor. What is that orange flavor? What are the crispies? I assume they're onions. I don't know what they are. It tastes like a generic, like, Sunny D flavor. I am not a fan of this sandwich. It doesn't smell like, maybe that like fruity, I call it lemon. I could tell like, if someone wanted to call that orange zest, I would say, yeah, that makes sense. Is that what they're trying to imitate? <laughs> Not a fan. Wow. I sense no heat whatsoever. Well, maybe. There may be the smallest, like, this thing is in the way. There may be the smallest tingling sensation. Like, I smelled hot sauce from the other room. There's an amount of heat, like if you eat Frank's Red Hot, not as hot as Frank's Red Hot, but let's say you had Frank's Red Hot on something and then you turned and ate something else for a while <laughs> and had drinks and stuff. And then you're like, oh yeah, there's a little tingle on my tongue. That's how hot this is. It's got a crappy, crappy ranch smell, like a fake ranch. It smells like plastic. Like if someone said, this is a plastic ranch, I'd be like, yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells like someone took ranch and made a plastic version. This smells some zest. I would say lemon, but I could see how someone would think orange. From smelling this, it smells like they're thinking orange. Maybe I'm overthinking it and they're not even trying to do that. Yeah, I can't get over that crappy, fake ranch smell. How embarrassing. I am completely embarrassed. Yeah, this is berries, zest, tropical smell, which kind of reminds me of like a tropical island, like suntan lotion without the coconut with that same sort of vibe. Yeah. Where's the heat?
the tropical smells like effervescing through my nasal cavity. Heat's kind of dull. Ooh, there it goes. Sharp, right on the tongue. Yeah. They taste nothing alike. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper chicken. There is no similarity. Weird. Can we just do that now? Can we just like say things? Like I'm guessing that there are there's some capsaicin in this. And because of that they're saying it? Or did they like use a little bit of dried pepper in the ranch? And so they're like, it is a ghost pepper ranch. It literally is. Tastes nothing like it. Yeah. The tropical chinense flavor, a little bit of berry, lime zest, some bitterness. It's not very sweet. I tried to get the darkest one to be sweet. You know what I think it is? I probably would have tasted sweetness, but this bread is almost like Kind of like a Hawaiian roll in a way. Not as bad as her, her, her Hardee's, but it's sweet. Everything's sweet. The ranch is sweet. There's sugar everywhere. I'm disgusted. Yeah, no, yes. They don't taste alike. Okay, there we go. Ghost pepper's better. Get that thing in there. I just broke. Look at this. That's two branches from my sugar rush peach plant right there. Do you see it? Right there. My tripod just fell off and smashed the plant. That is super sad. I am very, very sad. And I made a short about it. Maybe it'll make people watch my video <laughs> about the Wendy's sandwich. Wow, that was terrible. What am I trying to do? Oh, in conclusion. Now my hands are full. Can I hold a cheat? Chewed up. Chewed up. There he is. There's the, the aftermath. The sandwich and the pepper. The pepper, gosh. Ooh, there's some of the sweetness. Probably because it had been like a minute or two since I had that sweet, sweet as in sugary sandwich in my mouth. Not a fan of sandwich. I like ghost pepper stuff getting out there, but it doesn't taste like ghost pepper. The pith is very bitter. Maybe it's the seeds, but it has more like a strong grape. I'm getting ready to review this pepper. What am I doing? Okay. I like the ghost pepper. It's not as good as the yellow ghost pepper, but I also have to review those. What am I doing? <laughs> In conclusion, scale of one to 10, the sandwich, the ghost pepper chicken Wendy's sandwich is one to 10. One being that tastes like feces, 10 being like that is heaven. Um, Maybe a three, probably less than a three. Don't like the sandwich at all. This, yeah, that is a pepper. I will review that on my ghost pepper review, which I should probably refilm like right now, right after this, so you may see it soon. Okay, uh, uh, yay! <laughs> I don't know what this